Welcome to the Honor the Gift Podcast. I am your host, Art McCracken. I specialize in transformational leadership and high-performance coaching. I've worked with hundreds of companies and thousands of individuals along the way, helping them achieve greater outcomes in all aspects of their life. I'm a speaker and writer, but at the end of the day, none of that holds a candle to being a husband, father, and friend. I believe the greatest gift in our mortal existence is the gift of choice. How we honor that gift will shape the eternities. I also believe that career is a way of being and not just a way of life. And when you figure that out, by learning to let go of the charades and leaning into growth, life just seems to unlock itself. I know this because I've lived it. Quite simply, my calling is people experience living true. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making the commitment to lean into growth. I honor your journey. Now, let's do this. Hello, friends, and welcome to another weekly episode. This week's episode is founded on this poignant question. How about today? First, real leadership comes from within. It's only when we make a deep commitment to personal growth that we'll begin to see and feel alignment with the world around us. Secondly, within each of us resides a spirit of aspiration and improvement. We strive for more. We yearn for better. Sometimes we unleash the hounds, while other times we snaffle any action towards improvement. We take the easy road, and well, we just don't. A friend of mine once said, when faced with two choices, it may not have to be an all or nothing. All too often, we get stuck in the fog of choice. We also know precisely what action must be taken, but we're hesitant for a mountain of reasons. In the moment of choice, be still and be grateful for the choice. In any choice, innovation around new horizons not yet discovered might just be the thing that surfaces as you slow down to speed up. Fear, as we know, becomes the working derivative of inaction. While mostly unfounded and often faulty personal biases giving way to a justified stall. Biologically, the brain is the epicenter of all action and inaction. In the waning days of this interesting and volatile year, there's an often forgotten fact. We each carry with us all the necessary resources to mentally, emotionally, and spiritually lean into the new and pursue a better self. The gift of choice, so divinely appointed, is ours to honor. Whenever we engage in the intentional pursuit of a better tomorrow, it will always be met with a tacit call to action and an imbalance requirement we may not have anticipated before nor desire, which really brings us full circle. In this dichotomy called creative tension, where new growth happens when we stretch ourselves beyond our present capability by navigating our way through and enduring the muck, it is then that we find our most fruitful outcomes. We've heard it said before, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Time is the ever-waning commodity not yet assigned a market value because you just can't buy it. It's the same daily 24-hour allotment for each person on this planet, regardless of title or position in life. It can be given and taken, but not transferred. Time can also be a vacuum. Time has no end or beginning, and certainly no certainty. Today, for me, it's wide open with possibility, yet it won't wait for me. So what do we do with time when we know it's moving quite a bit faster than we can control? What do we do to somehow prolong the wonderful and shorten the difficult? The answer is, we don't. Time remains a gift for the present, and it's on our shoulders to leverage and utilize when it's been given us. It's ours to foster and build a better tomorrow with a better you and I in it. I've learned simply that your efforts are creating your tomorrow. It means what I do this moment, right now, will either honor or waste the stewardship I've been given in this life. Do I define presence in part by an awareness to honor each and every second? To wrap it up, one question remains. How about today? How about today? As you seize the opportunities before you with reverence and zeal, 
May you find wild success in the tomorrows initiated each day. May you find yourself in momentum with high energy as opposed to thumbing it on the roadside when the new year arrives. We have 60 days, friends, 60 days to become better, to make choices immediately that can impact our life. Why wait for the new year? This is typically the time when people head into the holidays and they think, can take this time off. I think if I haven't accomplished my goals yet, I can reset it and start it again at the first of the year. Don't do that to yourself. Honor yourself. Honor the choice that you have right now today to decide what you're going to do about the next 60 days, about the rest of your life. So that question still remains, how about today? As you seize those opportunities, as I mentioned before, may you find wild success in the tomorrows initiated each day and in the choices that you make. Remember that growth is always a choice. Until next week, my friends, make it a great one. And remember to always honor the gift.